What are we doing today? Today we're going to do the 18 forms. I want to do something different. So we found our feet. I can face Nancy's here, but I'll face maybe you all there. <laughs> Nancy can decide if she wants to face you too or she wants to stand like she is. So the feet are hips width apart. Yeah, this is probably good. I'll stand here. And the toes straight ahead. The head over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. And just imagine a bowl in the pelvic area and the tailbone pointing down between the heels. And then begin with the inhale, tapping the shoulder. You're looking over, nice twisting. Inhaling up the back, over the crown to the third eye, exhaling down the front. Deep, expansive belly breath. So we begin with this movement to facilitate the flow of life force, to awaken the spine, to awaken the kundalini, the shakti or serpent energy. It's, this is Qigong, we can reference the dragon. If it was Indian, then we would say the cobra. But they're both serpents. And they both writhe and circle, twist. So we're looking for that even, graceful, fluid, continuous flow. So see if you might find that moving along your spine. And visualize again up the back, over the crown to the third eye, down the front on the exhale. And then you might even notice where the tongue, the tip of the tongue finds itself naturally resting. For it is the bridge between the flows, between the solar and lunar flow. The yang and yin, the masculine and feminine. Deep, expansive belly breath, for everything begins and flows from the deep belly breath. And we can reference that as embryonic breathing, if you like, primordial breath, or deep belly breath. Let's shift to outside of the thighs now as we sway and we twist. Looking backwards, can you see both heels deepening the belly breath? Finding your perfect natural breath as you sway, as you twist, and as you breathe. And you may even just have internalized now the breath, but also the realization that this practice is medical by definition. It has curative power. It is also longevity oriented. Natural, deep belly breath. Swaying, twisting. Can you see the heels each time you turn backwards? And you notice the compression, the twisting, the ringing out of the abdominal organs. Very good for the stomach, spleen, the liver, kidneys, bladder, gallbladder, large, small intestines.
Nice. Let's come back to neutral now. Big sweep with the arms up from behind so the back bend, glutes engage. We come over the top. Gentle fists pull back and in as you stand up tall again. And that is the rhythm and the movement. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now we begin to move the energy more upwards and we entice and invigorate the heart and the lungs. The triple warmer. And again, stimulating the small and large intestine. And if you're listening closely, you say, he didn't say the pericardium, but that is the heart. <laughs> it's the heart's partner. D, belly breath. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's do three more. We'll finish hanging upside down. And as Anytime we are here in that forwards fold, the hands can rest on the legs if you like, but straighten the legs first, press through the balls of the feet. That stimulates the kidneys, the seed of your essence, your life force, also your immunity. D, belly breath. Now, if the hands have come to the ground and the legs are straight, bend the elbows to the sides of the room. And then from here, I like to inhale up left side, big circles up left, back bending as you twist as much as feels right, coming down right side. Think of this as the rising sun. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Natural, deep, expansive belly breath. Flowing in the field of energy. Whether the eyes are open or closed, that is your choice. If you are stable, I recommend closing them. and allowing yourself to go inwards more effectively. Let's do two more this direction. We'll finish hanging upside down just as before. Shifting the weight back into the balls of the feet, relax the neck, relax the head. And then as you're ready, let's inhale up right, big circles up right. So think of this as the rising or the ascendancy of the moon. And we look for gracefulness, continuity, fluidity, ease. Natural deep belly breath. And notice whether or not that concept of relaxation is experienced in your own being right now. In the expansiveness of the breath, can it also be relaxed? In the movement itself, in the mind, in the emotions, 
and the Spirit. Let's do two more. We'll finish hanging upside down after the next one. And as before, straightening the legs, relaxing the neck and the head, stretching down to the ground. Press through the balls of the feet. And as you're ready, let's bring arms with ears. We'll inhale up flat, neutral spine, tummy in as we come upwards, palms facing each other. Good. Turn the fingers in towards one another. Exhale, lower down above the crown of the head. Inhales, press up. Now you can look up if you like, but on the exhale, bring the chin back level with the ground. Inhales, you do not have to look up either. So here, as we lengthen the spine, you can visualize palms pressing heavens. Each vertebrae is creating or having space present. You might also realize the joints from the ankles all the way up to the wrists are enjoying a bit of opening. So you can find your own rhythm, inhaling as you press up, exhaling as you lower down. And this very straightforward movement actually will create and enhance our height. And as we get older, that becomes very important. But even if we've had challenges where we find ourselves squishing, <laughs> sitting down a lot, or having falling down a lot, maybe. You also shrink. So enjoy this. To regain the opening in the spine. And one more. On the inhales, press up. And on the exhales, lower down above the head. Now let the arms open out and flow down from the sides, nice and slow, slowly, slowly. And once they do make their way down to the sides, lower the head. Let's take the chin today to the right shoulder, up and around and down to the left. It's rolling the head, working with the gates of consciousness, with the throat chakra the cervical spine. And I find that it's nice to reference the effect on the third eye. Deep belly breath. What are you aware of now? We're opening up each of the major channels in the body, facilitating the flow of chi or prana, life force. Let's do one more, finishing with the head down. When you are ready, take the chin now to the left shoulder, up and around and down to the right. Flowing in a field of energy. Inhaling. Exhaling.
natural, deep, <coughs> expansive belly breath. And one more, finishing with the head down. We'll slowly raise the head up as we do. Let's draw the shoulders up back and set them down. Bend into the knees if you like. Turn the head if you like. Move the arms if you like. So we come back to that idea of what are we aware of and what do we need to do to facilitate the flow of the healing energy. You have the opportunity here to root down to the feet, to continue to stimulate that serpent energy and to extend it through, through the extremities. Let's begin to slow this down, returning back to where we began, and then it can be up forwards and down. And just as before, feel free to replicate in the other direction what you did or change it up a little if you feel it's appropriate. Inhaling, and exhaling, it's flowing in the field of energy. What are you aware of now? What is happening now? And let's begin to slow this down. Coming back to neutral. So take the left hand and bring it behind your back and place it in between the kidneys. And with the right hand, let the palm face up in front of the lower dantian, the navel, just below it between the pubic bone and the navel. So we're going to take an inhale and we will twist to the right and then that right arm hand will come up and you follow it maybe with the eyes and you're going to twist now to the left and you're going to turn the palm down, twisting left, twisting left and slowly lower down the hand, the palm facing down now as you put the lid on the cauldron. So that's literally what this is called raising the lid and placing it on the cauldron. So as much of a twist as feels appropriate for you. You will feel this in the kidneys. So allow yourself to experience it. Just as before, there's continuous movement. So nice, one more. And then we'll come back to neutral. Now we're going to reverse the direction. So come to the left, 
Raising the arm up, the palm will turn as you twist around and place it on the right side. So imagine as a chef, you were standing in your kitchen with two very large boiling kettles. Maybe you want to prefer to be a witch. <laughs> so whatever works for you. Michael, the minute our hand comes up, then we rotate the palm. Yeah, as soon as your hand starts to come up, you know, so about chest level. It will depend upon the side. You know, it depends upon how your body, how open your shoulder joint is, your elbow. So the connection here, once again, is between heaven and earth, isn't it? The center of the palms, the pericardium point, the Lao Gun point, the most sensitive part of you. So we'll do one more, not counting this one. Very good. Coming down, the lid is put on there. Now take the right hand behind and the left hand now faces up. So we will twist first to the left. Coming up over the top, around, putting the lid down. So maybe this side feels more natural to you. Maybe it feels a little more awkward. Natural deep belly breath. Finding the gracefulness and the evenness of breath and movement. Control and yet relaxation. So are you gritting your teeth? <laughs> are you still breathing deep belly breath? These are all things that tend to go by the wayside. Things that tend to arise. Are you focused on the breath in the third eye or are you more concerned with the movement of the hand? <laughs> Let's do one more. We'll finish with that hand back in front of the belly. Now we'll switch the direction. So come to the right, up and around, and then putting the lid on the left side. Checking back in with the breath. Twisting as much as feels appropriate to you. Again, stimulating the kidneys, stimulating the water element. Quite beneficial for the winter time or any time when we need to enhance and boost our immunity. Let's do one more. We'll come back around just as we did before. We'll relax the hands down. Let's bring them now to the hips and begin to circle. Choose the direction as we stir the soup. What did you say that that last one was called? Um, it's placing the lid on the cauldron or the kettle. Deep belly breath. Thank <laughs> you. 
here, you're looking for that relaxation in those rubbery legs. And then returning to neutral, go the other way, whatever that is for you. Softness in the face, the shoulders, the hips. Remember about that idea, lowering the tailbone, lengthening through the crown of the head, but allowing yourself to really feel a sense and strengthening of the lower part of the body. It feels like a belly dancer song. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Coming back <laughs> to neutral. <laughs> Bring the hands up now to the waist. Tiny circles with the tailbone. So here again, choose your direction. And notice that this is another place where we often forget to breathe deeply. So you may have many circles, tiny tailbone circles on a single inhale and many on that long drawn out exhale. So in some ways it's so subtle, it's hard to even tell you're moving. Come back to neutral, go the other way. And here again, checking back in. What's happening now? What has changed for you in the last 26 minutes? Then back to neutral. Now, careful not to strain sacral lumbar spine, but take an inhale, tuck the tailbone forward, exhale back. Inhales forward, exhale backwards. Inhales forward. Exhale backward, inhale forward, exhale back, inhales forward, exhale back. One more time. Inhales forward, exhales backward. Inhale, sweep up with the arms up to the heavens, gathering fresh, universal solar chi, pushing down, cleansing, bend the knees if you like. Inhaling up, exhaling down, and again, up. And down. Now we'll add another movement here. So this one is a pause. So we will take an inhale. And if you are a golfer or ever threw a discus, you will know this. Take an inhale, twist to the left. The right arm is up, the left arm is down, pointing down or towards, you know, basically what was what's in front of you. Now you're off the back heel and you pause. And you will inhale, coming back around and exhale. Inhale. So turning as far as you can, twisting your spine, pausing, inhaling. So there's that opportunity for a retention, isn't there? Inhale. What's this called? So we can just reference this as twisting backwards, like a dragon, lowering down. And just find your own rhythm now, pausing in between with the retention on the exhale and inhaling as you come back around. So look for this as a full spinal twist. And that spine, you might even visualize down into the earth. And you feel this all the way up to the crown of the head as if there was a an axle may be running through you. The axis, for instance, on a globe. And you're spiraling around it.
And you may have found that one side's a little more challenged than the other. Or you're trying to still figure out the breathing. That's okay. Just do deep belly breaths. Exhale here out too. Pause. We'll do one more set. So we began on the right side. So one more set. We have to still do another set. At least I do. Finishing on the left. And then returning. And once you return, let the hands open in front. Exhale, flow back in. Inhale, stay open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do that two more times. Very nice. Now, bring the hands to the sides, the palms face up. We will step out with that left foot and we will come through the palms facing down and then we will draw back the palms facing up. Come off the front toes as you draw back. So you will see that this is similar to pushing waves. But it's just reaching and pulling. So we're keeping the hands and the wrists relatively neutral. And there's this nice flow. Spine is elongated. Do one more. Draw back, now we'll switch the right foot out, come through, and draw back. What does this work? Pardon? What does this work in the bottom? Well, so Nancy's asking what this works. So <laughs> I put it back on you. What's well, we're moving, moving our arms, so, right, so obviously lungs and heart. Yes. But I'm wondering with the rocking motion of our feet. Does that affect the kidney? Well, we certainly are pressing to the balls of the feet when we come forward, aren't we? Yeah. You're straightening the back leg as you press forward too. And then you're so, in that sense, we're working with the bladder, aren't yeah. we? It's like the obvious is obviously the arms, but. So you could make a case here and say, oh, this is very good for stimulating the kidneys and the bladder, the water element and then the fire element, and the metal element. Let's do one more. We'll finish coming back. We'll let the arms sweep up to the heavens. We reorient ourselves to our Qigong stance. Gently press down. Inhaling up. Exhale, pressing down. We'll just do three this time. Inhaling up. Exhale as we press down, bend into the knees. Now place the hands on top of the, well, just above the knees, a couple of inches. Thumbs on the inside, take the knees left to right. So we just do a few of these, not too many. I want to move on to our 18 forms, but I still want to get us a little more into the ankles. Hmm. Deep belly breath. So you notice here that we are affecting the ankle and the knee joint up into the groin. And you can vary this as well. We'll do that in a moment. Let's do one more. We'll come back to neutral. Go the other way now, right to left. Checking back in with the breath. Asking yourself, what's happening now? So we have the visuals that we typically talk about with the breath, right? Or the expansiveness of the belly up through the chest, 
over the crown to the third eye, exhaling down the front, navel draws to spine, pelvic floor engages. You know, maybe that elliptical movement, maybe the parts of the body. But you might even want to think about the arrangement of the, your insides in a sense, that you are clearing space in each room, coming back to neutral. Now, take the knees forward out, away from each other, backwards and inwards. We do this way, so this gets a little bit more fancy. And then back to neutral, go backwards out, away from each other and forwards and inwards. So you're rocking on the sides of the feet. Natural deep belly breath. And then back to neutral. Inhale, sweep up, up to the heavens. Exhale, press down three times. Each time, an opportunity to cleanse. You can think of three of that, the three Dantians, the three elixir fields, the triple burner. And one more. Maybe this is four. I don't know. I counted as three. Yeah. But Okay, <laughs> that's three in my book. <laughs> Coming out in neutral. All right, we're going to move on to the 18 forms. So, check back in with your Qigong stance. So we begin raising the chi. The hands flow up, and then lead with the elbows as they lower down. So here again, you look for relaxation. There maybe is a little bit of resistance with the draw up and the lowering down. But there's this sense of fluidity in the joints. Deep, natural, belly breath. time rise up open the wings expanding stretching the heart and the lungs flowing in pressing down this is our second form the chi. Checking back in with what's happening now. Flow back on this one, letting the hands come down. And then inhaling up the midline, up over the head. We're going to shift the hips to the right as the arms come down to the left, painting the rainbow. So you can visualize yourself with a giant paintbrush. And the colors that feel best for you. Oh. 
flowing, breathing, sideways, working the lateral fascial line. Gracefulness, depth of breath. One more set. So finish, so come up from the right side. Now the arms will float down as they cross and then they open as if you spread your wings and take flight. You can alternate, I like to, but don't overthink. Let it be natural. One side of the other. But you notice the palms change directions through covering all four cardinal directions. Bending the knees. Deep belly breath. Draw the breath and the chi up the back of the crown to the third eye. Send it down the front. Very nice. Let's do one more. Finish with the arms down at the sides, at the palms face up. Take an inhale, push with the right hand to the left, cross the body, feel the resistance. Inhale, draw back, push with the left to the right. Bend the knees slightly, again, lowering yourself down, strengthening the legs, creating a posture of strength, not one that's easily to topple. Chin is level with the ground. Evenness. We can even slow it down more, maybe. Is this 18 just to work through the chi all the way circulating through the body? Or it's these are yes. I mean every every qigong practice, whatever it could be two postures, it just depends. They're all intended to balance out the flow of energies. This just happens to be a particular set known as the 18 Qigong form or movement. I think I have done the set with you before, but I obviously wasn't paying as much attention as I am now. <laughs> that's good. Well, when you're ready to be more aware, then that's, yeah, it's exactly. Very nice. Now we'll come back with the left hand. So I like to, there are different ways to do this one, but we're going to circle today. So we're going to take the right hand out in front as if you were scraping the inside of a big barrel. And we're going to lift the sun. So the right hand comes up. You come off the back heel, the left arm can come out. You know, I like to bring my about nine o'clock. Now I'm going to lower down diagonally with the right hand, and then the left will circle around in front. So you might have a sense here, and I say this may be the side we're lifting, well, it's still lifting the sun, but if you want to pretend <laughs> you're lifting the sun and the moon, the next movement is the moon. As you know, sometimes people say, oh, I'm doing left and right side. So, you know, whatever works for you here. But you might also notice that we're making kind of like an infinity pattern. And so really, stretch. So the beauty of this is the working with the organs. All of the tissues of the body and that same concept of gracefulness and continuity So 
So we'll do one more. We'll finish with the left hand rising up. And then we will swoop down with the left, joining it with the right as we lower tailbone and we sweep around. Now, holding the moon and twisting backwards. Keep the spine long. And you might notice there's this momentary pause, but you are twisting like an owl as far around as you can go. I'm off the back heel. That helps to stimulate the kidneys again as you press through the ball of the foot. You get the sweeping sensation. So because we're twisting, are we working in the stomach? Oh yes, you will work whatever the organs. Naturally, you're going to affect things where you're moving, yes, for sure. But you might say, for some people, they're going to feel it more in that area. For others, they're going to fill it up in the chest. And obviously, the arms and chest rotating the arms. But I don't know if it was enough to twist. Anyway. Let's do one more. So we began going left, so we will finish as we come back around from the right. Letting the arms relax down to the side. So for this next one, let's take the right palm up, we'll twist to the left, so we're gonna hold the chi ball, twist to the left. Now we start to come around to the right, coming around to the right, twist, 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 and then switch the left hand on top of the right, but I want you to turn more to the right if you can, and then begin the journey around. So it's for the most part right in front of the lower dantian. Switch again, right hand on top of left, twist more left, begin the journey around. So keep the feet firmly planted on this one. And just imagine, you are turning, stimulating the kidneys, stimulating the abdominal cavity. Natural deep expansive belly breath. So just this notion of this pulsating chi ball. Very nice. Do one more set. So we began coming to the right. So we want to finish as we turn back to the left. Let the arms float down, step out with the left foot. Now let the hands flow through as we part the C, coming up, opening. So imagine a splash against the rocks. And then the mist or the white water. Coming off the front toes. And then lowering down. One more. We'll come up, lower down, step out right foot, come through. Seamlessly transitioning. Do you feel this now in the heart and the lungs? Do you feel the serpent energy twisting around the spine up through your core? up through that central channel. One more. We will come back. Now the arms come at chest level, step out with the left foot and push and pull. So little difference, the wrists are bent. Now 
pushing and pulling waves. One more. Draw back, step through now right, and push and pull. So this one we do come off the toes and the heel. So there's this rocking sensation. As long as you don't lose your balance. <laughs> if that becomes an issue that we don't have to do. But you also may notice that one could do this even seated if someone had some challenges standing. And one more. Pushing through and drawing back. Now we'll step back. So for this next one, we're going to let the dove free or fly free. So we will step out with the left foot. So the arms will come up. You can come off the back heel and then you raise up and then you come back opening. And each time you have a new dove and you're sending out peace. And it just flies right up out of your hands. So you don't have to leave the feet here in the sense of the toe or the heel if you don't want to. I like to, again, have the momentum, but again, that's a choice. So one more, and we'll come back and switch. Combining the breath that works for you. Maybe it is an inhale as you release, and an exhale as you come back, or the vice versa. Equalizing length of inhale with exhale. One more. And then we'll come back. Arms at the sides. Check in with the feet again, hips width apart. Bring the hands back to the sides. We're going to do our big eyes punching here. So make gentle fists. Sink down. So I want you to sink down on this one. Inhale on the exhale. Punch slowly. Now there's resistance. Big eyes. Punch slowly forwards. Inhales as we draw back. Keep the legs bent. Exhale left. Inhale. You could growl if you like. Like uh, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right, very nice, inhale, exhale, left, we'll do one more set, inhale, exhale, right, inhale, exhale, left, Inhale back, standing tall. Now the hands will come down. We're going to inhale up as our wild goose takes flight high on the toes. I've opened my feet up a little bit for me for stability to shoulder widths. Coming up high on the toes, you can pause momentarily, keep the spine long. So for me, it is inhale up, exhale as I lower down. One point of focus. This is usually best to keep the eyes open. Keep 
One more, high on the toes, exhale, lower down. Now the arms come down, hinge from the hips, hang upside down. Much as we did in our warm-ups earlier on, we're going to inhale up the left side as we lift the sun. Now it's a little different, the rising sun coming down right. Twist as much as you can. So I like to do at least a minimum of nine repetitions each direction, sometimes more. This is a nice one, an opportunity to close the eyes if you don't feel dizzy. And really now we have begun to move that chi up the spine. It's probably pretty close to the head, if not in the head, but it's not over the top. So you're finding yourselves with this beautiful dance of chi. as the dragon or the snake. One more, finish hanging upside down. Stretching, straightening the legs, relax the neck and the head. Now when you're ready, inhale up right, big circles up right, exhaling down left, twisting the spine as much as you can. Glutes engage on the back bend. Hummy on the forwards fold. So you see how nice this is for compressing, twisting. So if you wanted to say, well, it'd be very good for the kidneys for sure. The bladder, the water element. But you're also massaging the liver, the stomach, spleen. Pressing and stretching the large and small intestines, stretching the heart, the lungs. What are we not working? Nothing. <laughs> Deep belly breath. One more. Finish hanging upside down. Straighten the legs. Now slowly, just bring the torso up. Slowly, slowly coming up. Raising the right hand as you're ready. Slowly up. Shift the weight into the right foot. Raise the left leg. Gently press the left foot down as you bounce the ball twice. And then left hand up, right foot down, one, two. And alternating now, here again, it is about grace, continuity, fluidity, simplicity, relaxation. And what you get is strength and balance and health and longevity. How nice is that? One more. Finishing with the left hand coming up. And our final movement, checking with the stance, inhales up. Exhales, pressing down, settling the chi, inhaling up. Exhales, pressing down. Are we bending our knees slightly? Yes, you can bend the knees slightly. Natural deep belly breath. Putting the chi to rest. One final movement, pressing down. Letting the hands come around to the belly, female right, male left, switch it up if you like, the other hand over top. Close the eyes, otherwise just gaze forwards and down. Natural deep belly breath. Feel the imprint of your class this evening. What is different than one hour ago?
Take an inhale and shake the belly. Exhale, relax the belly. Gather some saliva in your mouth and swallow it all the way down to the lower dantian, to the tailbone. Slowly bring the hands up in front of the face, vigorously rub them together, creating heat. Placing them over the eyes, hovering or touching, feeling the life force as it seeps inwards. Deep belly breath. And one more time, vigorously rub. We will do it just two times. Placing the hands over the eyes. No anger, no complaint, no ego with anyone. Giving thanks to the divine for all that you've been provided and allowing for the awakening of the heart to care, compassion, and love. And to the realization of your true consciousness, your inseparableness with nature, and slowly, slowly begin to open the eyes behind the hands, allowing the hands to drift downward, up, out, and around as we encapsulate the right fist with the left palm. Jing on, jing ping on, health, happiness, and harmony to each of you. Namaste, Jada Kwan. Have a lovely rest of the night. Thank you for joining me, Nancy, AJ, Tiffany. Come again. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <clears throat> wow. Thank you. <laughs> You're so Thank you. welcome. Bye-bye.